Amen? Amen. This year, the topic is so, when, when I, if I say, this is what, here is the area that I'm going to preach. I say, what is this woman coming to preach? Is this man coming to preach us again this year? I'm not preaching you. I'm just preaching in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic for this year is the caring woman. The caring woman. Who can define this for me? Mama President, can you define this for me? The caring woman. Who knows of this year today? <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Everything. We we'll put it into one. Yes. The caring woman. And this caring woman this year, they need acceleration in Jesus' name. We have been caring for the men for long years. Some of us, we have uh, children that are 30 years Children that are 40 years, children that are 10 years, children that are 15 years. But marriage is, is just the same. This year we need acceleration as we have. Our theme for this year is acceleration. So we need the men to accelerate us this year in Jesus' name. So when I'm talking, I'm not preaching the men, I'm not preaching the women. It's just I want people to hear that this is the year for us to accelerate in Jesus' name. We get our reading, which we will call Sister Abigail, the, in, in the book of Proverbs 31, starts from 11 to 21. Amen? The heart of of her husband trusting her and he will have no lack of again. again she comfort and courage and does him only good and not evil <laughs> okay this is actually really again <laughs> she comforts encourages and does him only good and not evil. Only good <laughs> and not evil all the days of her life. Uh -huh. Not evil. She, she looks for wood and flex and work with wailing hands in delight. Amen. Amen. <laughs> she is like a machete ship abounding with treasure. She brings her household food from far away. <laughs> she writes also why it is still night and gives food to her household and assign tax to her maids. She considers a field before she buys or accepts it, explaining her business, what's that word? Prudently. With her prophet, she plans faithful vein in her vineyard. She equips herself with strength, spiritual, mental, and physical fitness for her God gave tax and makes her arm strong. She sees that her she sees that her gain is good. Her limbs does not go out, but it burns continuously. Through the night, she is prepared for whatever lies ahead. She scratches out her hand to a distaff, and, she, and her hand holds the spindle as she spins wood into a thread for clothing. 
she opens and extends her hand to the poor, and she reaches out her filled hands to the needed. She does not fear the snow for her household, for all in her household are clothed and in expenses colored wood. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. You can see in these pages of the scriptures, this woman has been preached in this world for several, several years. When I was a little girl, I was going wherever my grandmom was going to meetings, everything. I was just like a bag, me and my grandmom. So any village, when they said the women's day at times, it's not, for, it's not only here that we are doing it for one day. We are going for two weeks. At times they said three weeks you will be there. It's a big thing. It's not like this. The preaching we are receiving is this virtuous woman. But to my surprise, when I came in this country, or even when I was in my country, they don't preach about the virtuous woman again. The eyes of the women have started jumping to the street. The eyes of the women have started denying what is the truth. The eyes of the women have started uh, 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 comparing themselves to the husband. They don't go to the Bible and know that the men, they are part of the creation. They said no. They bring something in my country, they call it 50-50. 50-50, if there is any Australian woman here, we can tell you about the 50-50. And this 50-50 stem to Australia. You pay $50, $50, I pay $50 to pay the rent. You pay $35, I pay $35, we pay the bills. I know it is because of the system. But can I ask, who is the man? Who is the head of the house? If everything we, contrib we contribute is equal. Who is the man, can I know? Oh, we are all equal. I hope we do it in that moderate way. Mr. Vafi will say, bring, uh, bring $30 and I will put $50 so that you, you can own the, own the, 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 the headship in the house. But now it's not happening and the eyes of the ladies, they are far away from respecting the husbands now. Am I lying? This area, everyone, every church, I don't say, I don't know about here, but in Africa, this message was preached. So this year, I just sit down and I said, you know, I'm going back to the drawing board. I'm going back to me to come and tell my children what I have experienced, and I carried it to the home where I'm, I, 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 I said, this is my married house. I don't know if I carry all. Only God and the husband can know in Jesus' name. Amen. But I think I'm trying in Jesus' name. So today, I want you to, to gain from this virtuous woman in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But there, is, there are women beside this in these pages of scripture, we see t 10 extraordinary women in the Bible who have been doing things that now we are not doing. So at any time you are reading, you read so that you can get that example and you apply it to yourself. It's not just the sake of reading, we are reading the Bible. Amen. We can start with Agai, who was Agai. Agai in the Bible, the slave made servant of Sarah. Can you be a servant? Then they force you to go and take the husband. Then you agree to it. Now it cannot happen. It's not happening. The child will just look at you and give you a slap. 
she was a mother with endurance. We cannot read the, 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 the scriptures now because of the time. But you can find it in the book of Genesis 16, 5 and 6. We, talk, we see Rebecca, the mother who believed in Genesis 24, 57. They said, go and find me a woman. Abraham called the, the servant in the house. Go and find a woman for Isaac. He went. Rebecca came to the well. And he said, oh God, this is what I was looking for. They go to the house. They arrange everything. Rebecca, are you going? He said, yes, I'm going. Are you going? You don't know the husband? Yes, I'm going. He believed. He believed that the, where I am going, God is going with me. Do we have that belief today with the women? Do we have that belief at times when our husband said, this is what to do? He said, let me see. Let me see. Let us go to the, let us go. Let us go to the internet. Let us know if this is true. We don't believe the men nowadays. But here, they are more than us in Jesus' name. We go to the third person. He said, Leah and Rachel, the mother who had to share. In Genesis 29, 26, 28, if even they give me, they said, Rosalind, come and take 10,000 right now to share your husband. Even though he's old, I don't want. I value him. I know who he is. I know who, where he took me from. If I'm standing here today, it's because of him. Anything I do is because of him. I get education, it's my husband. How many husbands are doing that today? If I hold this mic, it's my husband. So I value that husband in Jesus' name. And they said these people, they were sharing the husband. But still, they obey the husband. But today we don't have that obedience with the women in Jesus' name. I'm going somewhere, don't worry. <laughs> we have Jack, 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 Hib, Jack Hibbed, the mother with a plan to save her son from Pharaoh's wicked decree. You know that Moses. Today we don't have those skills because we are far away from God. When you are a woman that is reading, a woman that's concentrated to the Bible, you put all your hopes in the Bible, God will give you that understanding, the skills. They said, we the women, we are corny. We call ourselves the corny women. You will do something not bad. It will bring good, good into the family. So this was the woman who saved Moses, the mother of Moses. We know about Samson's mother, the mother who obeyed instructions to the letter. Don't, no, no, uh, don't, don't cut the air. Don't give this child rum and uh, uh, alcohol and everything. He said, uh, yes, sir. And it happened. Only he himself come and destroy himself, but not the mother. So we must try to, to be the corny women and the women that don't, don't all the time. He said, no, who is this one? Who, uh, what kind of angel that is coming to tell me, let me don't cut the, uh, the, the hair of my, my child. I will go and remove it all. Today we are doing that. In the book of Judges 13, 14, Ruth the woman with the, uh, 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 with the faith. Ruth 1, 6, 16. The woman with the faith nowadays, we don't want to see our mothers-in-law. People are saying, instead, uh, the mother-in-law, now that he is good, she is good or bad, let her die. <laughs> you fail to realize that without that mother-in-law, you will not have a husband. You should have not have that husband. But it is because the struggle of that mother-in-law. And our mothers-in-law in those days, it is not like now we are working, they pay us from the morning. But our mothers-in-law, they go to the, to, to, to the farm. They do everything so that they can educate their children. After you met that uh, 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 man, you grab the man, you said, come, you are under my armpit. <laughs> oh my God. Where did you expect to get the blessing for the children? Women, learn to go to the drawing board in Jesus' name. <laughs> learn to go to the drawing board. When you go to the drawing board, you will know that <coughs> we 
we think of Hannah, the mother who kept her promise. Hannah said, when I get this child, I will bring the, the boy back to the house of God. So these people are doing it. They are doing dedication. But they don't cheat the children. The children, they, just, they are just looking at what you, the mother, is doing. And they what? They copy. Hannah gave that child to Eli. Today we don't do what we are saying. In 1 Samuel 1, 11, 24 and 25, you can read there. Elizabeth, who has the faith. Mary, the mother who is blessed <coughs> among women. We know about Mary. I don't need to go there. Last year, we talked about Jesus Christ. How the, the, the pregnancy, how Mary received that pregnancy, but Mary did not go to the hospital to abort the pregnancy. Now, when we, if, we have, if we are pregnant without no husband, we will go to the hospital and remove it. But at that time, Mary did not do that. Now we are saved because of Mary. We have a Jesus whom we are calling. We have a Jesus who is, is everything to us. That's what we talked last year. That Mary, he is blessed in Jesus' name. All these mothers demonstrated specific char characteristics of a caring woman. If you are caring, these are the characteristics of the caring woman. Who is not a lawyer? Argue. Argue every minute. When the husband said, let's do this, he said, no, I'm not going to do this. So these women that I have named this morning, if we have that character, we are blessed in Jesus' name. And I am praying that we will have that character in our lives in the name of Jesus. Our text that Abigail has just read for us, out from that text, we have this model of the caring woman who demonstrated that a mother should be a mother of, should be a modest mother. You, will ha you, you have to get this kind of characters. Before you gain the, 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 the labor you have labored, there are times we pray, we said, Lord, I pray that I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. But there are times you are not enjoying the fruit of your labor because of the way you live. If you live that good living that a mother is supposed to live, if the child is seeing that character in you, you will be respected as a woman in Jesus' name. But when the child is seeing you hostile, all the time you are the, 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 the one that wants to be, I don't know, like the man you want to, who, put on, who put on pants because of the cold weather. Other countries, we the women, we don't put on pants. But it is only because of the cold weather. They differentiate us. We have the, something that we tie around us. And then they put on the pants because they are the head of the home. In Jesus' name. Solomon in his Proverbs, in his Proverbs, eh, 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 call her the virtuous woman, as I have said. And the Bible says, she is not a lazy woman. Listen to this. She was not a lazy woman. Men of this house, the women in this country, they are not lazy. Just think of early in the morning, six o'clock, how I will get up to go and walk. After, you, after the walk, you will be in the work thinking, what shop am I going to get the goods of the children today? Tomorrow they have to go to school. I have to pack the lunch. I have to make dinner. I have to make this. They are not lazy. When I'm seeing all this, I said, oh my God, these women are working as men in Africa. She wake early in the morning. The virtuous woman. No woman among this church, only those who are not working. But from six o'clock, some are going five o'clock, four o'clock. And you have to take care of the husband, take care of the children, cleaning your house and everything. It is too much for us. It is too much for the women in this part of the world. Amen. 
she is trustworthy. The virtuous woman is trustworthy. There are some women in this area, they are trustworthy. They come together with the husband. Let us get our own home. If the woman did not agree for a husband to get a home, you will never get it. Because every day is just lavishing the money. If you have to cook ten, ten, uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, 5000 a day, you said no, uh, is it 1000 Five dollars a day. Then he said, "No, I'm cooking fifty dollar a day." Where can you get that money if without the woman? It is only the caring woman. If you are here today, you are not caring. Please try to be caring, that you would get that blessing in Jesus' name. She is like a merchant ship that brings food for her husband and the children at home. Women will be there in the disability or the hospital or any area. They started, if they don't cook, they started ordering the food for the children at home. They started ordering the food my husband has to come. In this country, I have seen what I'm saying. That is why I choose this topic today. They are doing that. Women, I thank you. May God bless your children. She prepared breakfast for both the children and the husband. No, any woman that is not preparing that breakfast in the morning, you are not caring. You are so wicked. You are not caring. Amen. Listen. How can you sleep with the man, you sleep with your children in the same house? And you get up early in the morning, you go to the toilet, you take your brush. I'm coming, I'm going to work. I'm coming, I'm going to work. Eh, how are you leaving your house? How are you leaving your house with no breakfast? If you know you have to work early in the morning, make that breakfast in the evening. You will leave your husband with hung hunger. Then you go and sit down in the office. You started ordering food you eat. Let me show you the secret, what is happening. That husband will go and look for a girlfriend who knows how to take care of him. Abigail, if I don't have food in the morning, then I have a girlfriend who is taking care of me, making breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You will lose your husband. These husbands, they are our children. They came from this womb. So we have to hold them like our children. And holding them like our children, your children will be blessed in Jesus' name. I know some of you have been here. So who is doing this that I'm explaining you are the caring mother. And God will care for you in Jesus' name. God will care for your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. She is worthy of praise. Even the husband calls her blessed. If you see a man call a woman blessed, huh? there is something, something great underneath. That woman is hardworking. That woman has the fear of God. That woman has sympathy. Before this man, nowadays. Women, let us be careful. There are children in the street. They have, they have nothing to do just to put makeup and everything. And when they are seeing your husband, they started walking like this. Started walking like this. Started walking like this. So take your husband. I won't allow a, a, anyone to take my husband. I will cook 24 hours. <laughs> Amen. Mothers. Mothers. Let us go home. We've been speaking the example of the virtuous woman. 
But now I want us to go home. There are homes in which lives have been terrible throughout the year. Homes that lives have been terrible. You know, I'm not preaching about what has happened. I'm preaching about what is happening today. There are homes that are terrible. The husband is not talking to the, to the, to the mother. And the mother is not talking to the husband. Even the children, they are not talking to their mother. We have those homes. Kids are out of control. To add to the pain of mama, they are out of control because when they go to Central League, Central Link, they are giving them the money, they, they get houses for themselves, they live for themselves, they don't care about the mother, they say they have reached in paradise. And that paradise is bringing sin in your life, you young girls, in Jesus' name. It's not a paradise that you will grab. Come out of it and listen to your mother, in Jesus' name. Marriages are wrecked. Living one parent family. There are so many eh, 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 single mothers today. More than those that are in the house. Because the husband and the wife, they are not seen together. This doesn't work. They are telling us, it doesn't work. I'm taking her back again. I'm walking out of this house. It doesn't work. The husband will, will forget about the three children he has given you. It doesn't work. He will go away, leave you with those three children. Struggling in this country, you have no mother, no father to help you. You take those children to the childcare so that you can walk. How are you going to save? That is happening in the houses. Mom gets no respect from the children. Then today comes the Mother's Day. The whole family act as if all is well. The whole family is acting today. Some of them early in the morning, they will go and boil the egg. Sweetie, this is your day today. <laughs> Giving me an egg. They will go to Lindbrook. We are going in the evening for the Mother's Day. This year is 90 something dollars for a person. They don't mind to pay, they will pay for that one day, for that one day what, uh, while the house is not okay. The house is not okay. How can we remove that in our lives so that our Lord Jesus will be happy? How can that stop? I have sympathy for the marriage uh, uh, houses, but the single mothers, I always cry for them. To so take care of children, you alone, is not easy. It's not easy. Things are not okay. But today is the Mother's Day. They will give us all that we want. Fathers, check yourself this morning. You have your children. You have your children. You don't want your children to be treated like that. Check yourself this morning, please. It is sad. It is sad to say. And it is even sad to think about it. How people are struggling here. Therefore, what is happening? No way. By the time the child is 10 years, 11 years, you will hear the children to the street now. I'm praying that our homes will be settled in Jesus' name. But when, when you examine, people are there in, in, outside there talking different things about the women. If you examine the, the, the description of these women that are suffering today with single mothers, mothers, every mother that is seated here, every mother is a caretaker of the house. Some men, they don't even know how to boil egg. They don't even know how to even clean, mop the place. The women, they expected women to mop. They expected women to boil the egg, make, make everything. They don't do that. Women are nurses. 
If even the husband sick at night, you have the medication. I can prescribe for you. My children are calling me, Mom, why didn't you do nursing? You, did, you always prescribe for us and we get well. Women are nurses. Amen? Amen. Women are counselors. We have all that work on us. But still, the marriages are sick today. Why? Why this year I have come to ask the men, can you talk with me so that I go to my children and tell them this is what you are doing? Why cross purpose church? We don't want, want to be one of those people. Single mothers, no. This is a church where the Holy Spirit is. This is a church when you come, you pray, you get an answer. Why? Women are teachers. They are teaching the children in so many ways, even to teach you how to put on your cloth, to teach you even how to, when you go to the toilet, how to take care of your, yourself with your teacher, teaching them how to cook. If you are going out to get people to come and do this for you and your children, it's a big money. Women are helpers. They can help you to achieve behind a successful mo a, a man there is whom a woman these mothers we as chef we always we are in the kitchen we are seamstress we did all those things women our heaven is open but if there is any wicked woman here who is not caring, I'm praying that you stop in Jesus' name. Amen. They do all this in a daily basis. All this, every day, I don't know the other time Pastor Wisdom was preaching. He said, I don't know how even the women are doing it. Because they can be cooking, they take care of the children, they can be here, they are laundering, they can be here after the, 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 the coming from the laundry machine, they go back to the kitchen and cook. We are just like machines. But some men, they don't value us. They do. Some men, they don't value us, but there are some men who knows that we are doing something inside the house. Yes. There is no way we can put a price to the importance of women. No way we can tag a price. We cannot pay the mothers of this, of this church. We cannot pay the mothers in the world. The mothers of the church, first of all, here, you can see the food. Every Wednesday, you come food. Every Sunday, you are here. So uh, The food at times, people take it home. I don't know, Pastor, the time we will make party for the, these women in this church. I don't know. The time they will appreciate us, I don't know. The time Pastor Wisdom, he was doing it, taking us out, but now it has finished. I don't know if Pastor Wisdom don't value us again, I don't know. But I'm making a, a group to go and meet Pastor. That what you have, how you have been appreciating us, now you are not doing it again. We used to go out to the hotels, we eat. When I go, what do you want? I say, Pastor, you know me, I don't want meat, oh. I want fish. <laughs> Everyone knows me about the fish. That was what we were enjoying. But it has come to the drain. We don't know what has happened, Pastor. Let us fancy how many diapers we are changing for the day. When you are from that labor, you know what is labor. We can't define it here because you know already. They are calling you inside to go. We can't define it today. How many diapers we are changing for the day. All that is, is the woman. You change the diaper. After changing it, you have to go and cook again. Oh my God. After the diaper, what are you thinking of? You win the child from the diaper. Now comes the lunch, the break, the, the lunch to go to school. Not men. I don't know if some men are doing it here. Oh. Maybe some men, they are the woman in the house. I don't know. 
But all that one we know, it is the women that are doing all those things. Amen. Upon all these tasks, mom has to, repeat, to prepare breakfast in the morning, lunch, and dinner for daddy besides the children. Only on this head, all these things, they are done by the women. Father, I'm here this morning. I'm not sent by my children to come and tell you this. <laughs> but God wants you to do this in Jesus' name. The fathers of this house, the sons and the daughters of this house, we the women of Cross Purpose Church. This year, we want to accelerate because our theme this year is divine acceleration. So we want to accelerate, please. This day today, we are asking that every woman in this house, marriages need to be accelerated. Amen? Father, care for the mother as you care for yourself. Care for these mothers. They are doing so much in the house. As you care for yourself, it is a sin when you love yourself only more than how you love the woman. Christ laid his life for you and me. The church that we are standing, it is because of Christ. There are, not all of us are, 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 are saints. There are sinners inside this building, even when we are seated right now. There are sinners. There are people with a woeful heart. There are people with the spirit of not forgiving someone. There are people who did not forgive quick, they hold it for long. We are here in the house of God and Jesus is still accepting us. There are women same way that has problem but because of the example of Jesus, we ask the men of Cross Purpose Church this year that you treat the mothers as how you are treating yourself in Jesus' name. God wants you to treat someone as how you love someone as how you love yourself. Treat someone as how you are treating yourself. You will have that blessing in Jesus' name. You can turn things around if you are doing those things. But when something happened, you come with the challenge that when, when once a, 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 a record did not cook yesterday a breakfast, today I'm not, given the, the, I'm not given my money, I'm not coming home. In fact, I'm going to a, a Rosalind. You make things worse in the house. You make things worse. You are our directors. You are part of this creation. You know us. Women are weaker vessels. In Jesus' name. Father, learn to, to, to predict for mother's need. You can go somewhere. You don't know if a uh, 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 Flaubert loves this. But when you go to the shop, you think about your, 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 your wife. You said, oh, I see this flower. I see something at that shop. I will take this thing for mom. You keep it inside the pocket. When you come... Abigail, I sent something for you. Can you kiss it? Hope that will be good. And give the woman on the job. Yeah. That woman will think about it in Jesus' name. Predict for these women. We are just like babies. We are just like babies. You are the father. So that we have peace. If there is peace in the home, this church will boom. You will see so many people come in here. But if there is no peace at home, then it will stem to the church. Please, Father, take care of us. We want love. As how you want us to respect you, so we want you, the Father, to give us that love in Jesus' name. Father, help the mothers of your children so that everyone in this building or even outside to reach their potential in Jesus name. Amen. Let me tell you there are so many educated women in the houses. 
Some, they finished their high school. But because of taking care of the children, because of the workload in the house, they cannot go to colleges today. Then the men are looking at them as they are not educated in the house. But you cannot leave your child, then you go. If even you don't have too much of education, there are so many vocational here that you will learn something. But if you have all the workload, nothing you cannot do, you will be working, 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 working up to your old age with no qualification. Draw that woman. What would you like to do? You have these O levels, clean O levels. Are you going to the college or you want to do something in the vocational? Then you come, you come together with the woman. You are, if I go six o'clock, then you will go in the, in, uh, uh, in the evening. Then, so that we will have someone to take care of the children. Educate us. If you educate a woman, you educate the whole world. You will be proud of your wife that your wife is a doctor. You will be proud of your wife that your wife is a nurse. But because there is no unity in the home, you are not taking the care that you're supposed to take as a, as a husband. We cannot fight you only to plead this year. That men, you will come to that state and to take care of us, to help us that we can reach our potential in Jesus' name. Let me tell you, the creation the story that the creation story tells us of God's plan that husband and wife should be one. In the book of Genesis 2:24, God wants you and me to be one. God wants you and the husband to be one. Women, if you think you are strong, you are just killing yourself. Obey and come together with the husband so that you can do something. You will be somebody in this world in Jesus' name. Your children will look you, they said, blessing. The blessings will be there in the name of Jesus. Jesus also referred to this plan, Matthew 19, 4 to 6. Let us be one. We are the, of the same Father. In Jesus' name. Children, honor your parents. Honor your mother. Children of this house, not only the husbands, but our children. We come to you this morning that you honor your mother, that your days, it is the only commandment that I, all the commandments, I like them for this commandment. He said, when you honor them, what will happen? Your days will be what? This land. Why can't you honor your mother? Why are you fighting with your mother? Why? <laughs> Why are you fighting? What does the honoring mother mean? Listen, some of you, you are saying, when they pay me, I give this 5,000 to mama, I give this 1,000 to mama, but if you don't honor the, the mother, can you think that money you are giving me, you, you will be blessed? No, no. To honor your mother means, you speak to your mother well. Have conversation with your mother. Let your mother be your, your secret friend. Mommy, this is what is happening with me. But some of you, I like someone who was standing here when we are singing. He said, you take all your secrets. The mother is there. She doesn't even know what is happening with you. Nothing you will not know. Speaking politely to your mother. She is your mother. Without him, you should not have been in this world. Honor your mother. In Jesus' name. It also means acting in a way that shows that the, the, you show courtesy and respect to, to if you don't respect your mother you don't, have, you don't show courtesy to your mother you sell your mother to your friends you sell your mother to the community everyone will know about your mother that you are not giving your mother respect and not only for the eye sin of man but for, the eye, for God what are you receiving when you two uh, 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 have children the same way your children will come and treat you it's vice versa it's vice versa. Come down, children. Don't follow the laws in this country. No, they are not for you. You are a child of God. Shut the Bible and know how you should honor your parents. In Jesus' name.
I'm finishing. Don't worry. This year is not long. <laughs> Even when you don't, you seem don't have it. You don't have that quadrilateral relationship with your mother. As I was saying, I'm, I'm not speaking to my mother. My mother has done this to me. They have done that to me. He said this for me. It's not your business. Aren't you wait for God? God is fighting for you. You do yours. Do yours. She is your mother. You have no right. You and your mother cannot argue. Let's give respect to these people. Think of the, 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 the labor there. From labor to, to changing diapers, from changing diapers to lunch, from lunch, everything depends on them. But remember this last word that you honor your parents in the Lord. Amen. Remember this you honor your parents in the Lord. You honor, you respect your, your you love your wife in the in the Lord. Your wife cannot sit in smoking. He said, Michael, can you go and buy a cigarette for me? Then you run. He said, Mrs. McCoy said we should love you. No, not that. It is a cigarette. It is a cigarette or alcohol. It's dangerous. Not that. You cannot send your child. Go and buy cigarettes for me, then the child don't go there. He said, what you are talking is just for you. Because that one is harmful. You want to send your, 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 your children to the boyfriend. I have my rice there. That rice there is, a, that pan is for your father. That other pan, take it there. I have sent you, take it there. If you don't go there tomorrow, you will not cook here. You will not eat here. Do you think that one is right? Sending your child to your boyfriend or sending uh, 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 your child, even the men, they are sending their children. They allow the children to see them. You are just bringing disgrace for yourself because the child will never respect you again. Therefore, honor these people as, as how God wants you to honor them. Honor them in the Lord. Read your Bible, you will know how to honor them. May God help us. Again, this year is not long. May God bless you in Jesus' name. <laughs>